What's going on guys? Welcome on back to Matt DIY. So one of the questions I get asked often is how do you know when it's time to replace your tires, right? Um, and there's a couple different ways you can tell. So I figured I'd go ahead and film a quick how-to on how to check to see if you need new tires. Alrighty guys, and this actually didn't work out pretty nice because I've got a set of tires on my car that are well past due for replacement. And then I've got brand new ones here as well so I can show you for a good example of what tread should look like and how to determine when they need to be replaced. So there's two methods you can use. Now, a lot of folks will talk about the uh, the penny method or the Abe Lincoln method where you can actually put a penny. And I believe if the tread is above his head or something like that, you know, your tires are still good or not good or whatever. Um, but that's kind of inaccurate depending on what kind of tire you have. So I recommend, number one, the visual inspection. Number two using a tire tread tool like the one I have here and like the one I will link down below for you. And you can pick up for a couple of bucks, nothing too crazy. So to talk about visually, first of all, if you look at a tire and this is a brand new one, it hasn't had any life on it yet at all. You'll see that the tread here, the depth in it, and when I say tread, I'm talking about how much of the tire is sticking above these notches here, right? So these are your, these are basically your wear points. And the uh, tread markers are going to be down inside of there. So if we're looking at the top of the tire here, about every, oh, 12 inches or so, there are wear markers on your tires. So if you look here, this is the full tread. It's still got the paint on it because it's brand new. Getting you guys a little closer, you see these little notches down inside? Those are actually your tire wear markers. Those are going to tell you when, hey, you better replace your tire immediately if you get to that point. Um, so when I talk about a visual inspection, when you're looking at your tires and you're thinking, oh, you know what, I don't know if I need new tires or not. If you don't have a gauge, you can do this with your eyeballs. If you look at your tire, you want to look at your tread or even take your finger and feel around until you can feel that wear marker. And it's just a little notch that sticks up inside of there. And if you can feel it and it's still down in there and your tread's still higher than you know that point where you're feeling with your finger you're probably still good to go these will start appearing at about 330 seconds of an inch uh, when your tires are wear down to that point brand new tires like these ones here are about 10 30 seconds so i got a lot of tread here left but um, the wear markers they'll be down to about three so that is how you visually inspect your tires so as you can see these are perfectly fine because the wear markers are way down in there, nowhere near the top of the tread. However, <clears throat> the tires on my car are well past due. So if I look at these, and I get you guys in here to the top of the tire, you can see that they still have some tread, but they are well past due. Because if you look here, the wear marker, and these tires are exactly the same. These are Continental uh, True Contact Tour. Same thing, Continental True Contact Tour. So we're comparing apples to apples here to show you. Um, you can see that the wear marker is even with the top of the tire tread here, right? On the outside, in the middle of the tire, and on the other part of the tire. So this, number one, this means my alignment is good because the tires are wearing evenly across the tire. If you had more tread or less tread out here or something weird going on like that, that would mean you probably have uneven wear and you're going to need a tire or a uh, alignment on your car. But I've got even even wear across here. And you can see there's a wear marker here, there's a wear marker here, and one here. And they're even with the top of the tread. That's telling me that this tire is well past due to be replaced. Um, stopping distance, rain, tread, snow is going to be severely, severely decreased with a tire like this. So visually, I can look at this and say, whoa, yep, I need new tires. Those are definitely no good because those wear markers right here are supposed to be down below the tread. So you have lots of room for more coverage there. Now, if you want to get really technical, and I like to, just to make sure everything's on point, you can get yourself a little tire gauge. These range, oh, probably $10 to $30, not too expensive. And uh, they'll tell you what your tread life is on your tire. And this one actually doubles as a PSI gauge as well. You can do tire pressure with it. So it's a cool little handy thing to keep with you in your car. I will link one down below for you guys. Anyhow, it will tell you if your tires need replaced or not. And it's got this cool little gauge. So not only does it tell you the 30 seconds, 
It also gives you a green for good, a yellow, oh, fine line here, a yellow for, hey, you need your place soon, and then it gives you a red for your beyond repair, right? <laughs> so if I take this handy little gauge and I put it on the tire, I'm just going to go right in the middle of the tread, and basically uh, the gauge has a little middle piece here that slides, right? It's on a slider, and it slides back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and take that piece of metal and just put it right in the center here where the uh, tread is and where the you know little dip between the tread lines are. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then all I'm going to do, and I actually shut off because I waited too long. All I'm going to do is go ahead and push down until it hits the tire and it's even. And basically what that's going to do is it's letting me stick out just a little piece of that metal that's showing me that is how much tread I have left on my tire. It's telling me I have 230 seconds. So that is way beyond needing a replace. Let's just go and take another reading from another spot in the tire. So we're going to put the gauge right in between. I'm putting it right in between here, guys. Not on top, right in between. So we go right in between in the middle, push down. And I'm getting a 330 seconds there. So a little better, but, you know, still really bad. So basically this is telling me that, hey, your tires need replaced. And I would say when your tires get to 430 seconds, you should start to be looking around, maybe order some new ones, things like that. 330 seconds, go ahead and replace them. Um, any lower than that, and you're getting in dangerous territory, mine are down to two just because uh, life has been crazy and I haven't gotten around to switching them just yet. I definitely need to replace them, just haven't gotten around to it. Now, new set of tires, and this will vary compared to what kind of tire you have, what kind of tread it is, and all sorts of things. If you take your gauge, same thing. You're going to put it right in the center of the tread lines and push down even. And I'm getting 11.30 seconds on this tire. And typically your new ones are going to be somewhere in that neighborhood. So this one is brand new, got lots of tread on there, ready to go. Now, one thing I will say is that you can never go by the mileage rating on the tires as to when you need to replace them. So these tires, these Continental True Contacts, these actually have a mileage warranty of 80,000 miles. And guys, to be honest with you, that's nowhere close to what I actually get out of them. I usually get about 20 to 25,000 miles out of these tires. And then I actually turn them into warranty and get a little bit of a, uh, a reduction on cost for new ones because I like the ride and they're pretty good tires. But don't ever go by the mileage warranty. Um, especially if you're in an ins inspection state where they're going to check your car yearly for, you know, to make sure it's safe to be on the road. They'll hit you every time for low tires. So don't think you're going to make it 80,000 miles on the tires just because they say that. You're probably going to get a quarter of that at best, right? You're never going to get that full mileage warranty. Now, a lot of factors in play there. It depends on your car. It depends on the weight. You know, how hard your car is on tires. This is an all-wheel drive. It is hard on tires. Um, and I can only get about twenty to 25000 out of a set. So what I'm trying to say is don't go by the mileage warranty. Get yourself a little gauge. Do the visual inspection method like I told you there. That will be a much, much better determining factor on if you need tires or not. And then you don't got to go take it to a mechanic. Waste, you know, 15, 30 minutes out of your day to schedule an appointment and go have their opinion. You can do this right at home. Real easy. Just by looking at it. If you don't have a gauge, checking out your wear markers or... If you have a gauge like I linked down below, check them out. Super easy. Get you up and going. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful there and how to check your tires to see if you need new ones and how to check your tread to see how they are doing. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. If you liked the video and it helped you out, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you like working on automotive projects or just have questions about cars or want to work on cars or things like that. Um, I do all of that here on the channel, so I'd love to have you along for the ride. So, let me know if you need any help. But in the meantime, guys, always remember to get out there, do it yourself.